All right. All right, so we've, we've defined the survey area and the number of aspects associated with that uh, to start the survey. And the next step would be to define the boat shape that is used. So in, in this case, we will go to the boat shape editor under the editor menu. Um, and the idea is here is to, to create a drawing of a boat that's similar in shape and size. You don't have to spend hours in de designing a boat that looks exactly what you're using. I think the more important aspect is to have something that is in relation to what you are using because this will give you a better perspective during the survey itself. So Xylem or Hypac also supplies uh, a number of shapes that you can use and the one I normally use is just a small boat and you will see here it will give coordinates so if we select X zero that means it's a zero line at that specific reference point so the first step that i normally do is all right this is my boat it's you know not exactly how my boat looks like but the size is a bit larger so i would go and scale the shape to say 0.25 of the actual drawing itself And if we just zoom out, so this is a quick way of, of zoom to extend that xylem, uh, high pack supplies. Um, and this will give you the actual drawing. So in this case, if I select the, so my boat width is in total probably around 2.5 feet. And the length is 3.5 plus minus. So the first step would be is to have an origin point of the boat itself. So if we go to options, set origin point, and I normally use the bow. So if I select that, that's my origin point. So what's the purpose of that? Is to reference my instrumentation in relation to a specific point on the boat itself. And that is the most important aspect of defining the boat shape. It's not really how the boat actually looks like, um, the size relative to the survey area, that's important, but the most important aspect is, is when I'm going to reference my instrument positions, which point I'm going to use to survey it. If it's a relatively uh, simple boat structure, that will be um, measured fairly easy, but if it's a complex boat, then that will require a bit more detailed surveying. So in this case, I'm fairly happy with, with my boat design. Um, it's about two and a half feet and approximately um, a rough estimate of about seven point something feet, 7.2 feet. So I'm going to save this. You can create a shape um, and save it under the boat shapes and you will notice here it's not under your project, it's under IPAC boat shape so you can store it there or under your, your project. Just be careful that if you are going to upgrade your IPAC to a newer version, this is one of the folders that will be overwritten by IPAC. So if you want to keep that shape, then I recommend you store it under your project folders because the project folders won't be affected by any software changes. So if I save that, so that's my boat shape. 